shit. Ah, uh, shit. What up, YouTube? It's me, Riz Il, back on the channel with another reaction, and I'd like to wish you a happy new year. Happy 2024. For those who actually celebrated that shit, because I'll be honest with you, the transition into the 2024 year was not all that good, guys. It was just another working day for me, and everyone was busy having fun while I'm working. Which was fine because I'm like I'm I'm focused on my work. But then on top of that, now on the first day of 2024, my house got flooded, and my laptop equipment got ruined, and I just ordered it back. Now I ordered some new stuff back, and that is the only reason why I'm back to doing reactions again. So. Uh, fuck 2024 anyways <laughs> we're gonna be reacting to the big push we're finally gonna be doing the big push uh by ren and his band uh i've been alerted to or been informed that he has a band called the big push and today we're gonna be doing um i shot the sheriff i think that's the only name of it right give me a minute yeah i shot the sheriff uh, i think there's a couple other names but uh Man, forget that. Without further ado, we're gonna see what um, what 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 he has to say of yeah, what they have to exhibit of it. It's gonna be interesting. It looks like a library, uh, a live performance. So without further ado, guys, let's get to it. see some white people over there in the background trying to dance you know the guy kind of <laughs> bounce man bounce I, sorry i'm sorry to interrupt this but i feel like i have to like say this um people like i've heard a lot of people like i've heard some people say 
when white people dance, they focus on like a bunch of instruments at once, and that's why they, you know, they can't, they they just can't. And honestly, guys, the key to it is focusing on one instrument and then moving as per the rhythm of that instrument. So I'll move to the guitar, like, you know, or the drum. It'll be like a. That's the key. Come on.
Aye, Ren gets bitches, bro. <laughs> Aye, bro, Ren. One, he gets bitches, for sure. Two, I'm sorry to be an, uh, an, an upstrung youth. But one, he gets bitches. Two, he was born to make music. For sure. Because this is more than just talent. This man is exhibiting that he is an encyclopedia of the musical experience itself. There's so many elements he put into this thing. It wasn't just reggae. He referenced like hip hop, one of the most iconic hip hop songs of all time. Rock and roll mixed inside. I, man, this is just this like a true like I know in terms of hip hop itself, the way it, it is, it's at right now. Even the way Travis Scott explained it, it was the fact that artists, the way we make music right now, especially in hip hop. I know this is, uh, Ren is an alternative artist, so he's he's everywhere. But in terms of hip hop specifically. The way we make music is catered to uh, this, this, the status of how our lives are and where we're at in our current like journey in life and what we can do for the time being because we are under-resourced, right? So let's take uh, me for example, right? I didn't really grow up with instruments or whatever. I tried to beg for drums, I tried to beg for everything because I loved music, but my parents couldn't afford it and they didn't have the heart to tell me they couldn't afford it and shit. So for most of my life, I was, I've been grasping for like, you know, whatever I can. And the only reason I'm at the level where I'm at is because somehow with one laptop, with one idea, with one mic, with one, I was able to push myself to a certain extent to get my music to a certain level. But it still can never ever replace no matter all the neat tricks or whatever we do with the sampling, which is beautiful and everything. The way hip hop has innovated sampling. And has evolved it is beautiful but it can it can still not replace the natural sounds and the natural talents talents of instrumentalists and pure singers and pure artists out there not to say that we especially as like electronic like rap stars or whatever we not it is not to say that we are not artists ourselves but one can't replace the other one was born out of like a lack of something so we needed to do something with what we had and then the other was birthed out of time as you can see the amount of effort he put in the amount of time he put in the amount of experience he's gained from his musical craft and the level that he's at right now is just this is just natural you don't you don't just it's like when people talk about mozart right Mozart was a prodigy, he was a genius, but for the early parts of his life, he was making absolute fucking nonsense. He only started making something that was worth anything in his, I think in his 20s or something like that from what I've heard. I need to further research it, if anyone knows, correct me. But that's the basic synopsis of Mozart and his journey, right? He, in the beginning, bullshit, he just had talents, but in the end, oh, like as he grew up, he became what he became. And that's always been the journey for all of us, even me. The one thing that I could say about my path is in earlier on, all people could say was, I'm really good at writing and I'm really good at like writing raps and rapping and shit. But I was making bullshit. Only now I make something that's truly worthwhile. And because I'm making something that's truly worthwhile, it takes even longer because I'm no longer making bullshit. Same with Ren. Just pure artistry pure mastercraft i loved it i'm gonna download this song just for the vibes in the morning when you're cooking or whatever and i really enjoyed this guys uh leave your likes comments subscriptions below hit the post notifications and uh fuck 2024 <laughs> like a slide door baby would you die for a beamer rubber band taliban gang on your year i'll be out of here with the moolah balling like a hoop Bitch, fuck a hula. Pretty little lies with the hella dick.